Hey everyone, this is Nick, and I'm back again today for another video, and today what I'm going to be doing is a really, um, it was an idea I would mention probably in my last video, which is, um, my Polk backpack review, or some video, I don't know when these are all going to come up, but nonetheless, as you can see, I'm back at school now, and just to pre-preface, um, I did pre-record a couple of videos before I left to come back to school, just because I didn't know how my schedule was going to be, so, um, I found out that it's not going to be as bad as I thought, so... Thank God, like, holla at your boy, like, so I'm really excited about that. But nonetheless, um, what I'm going to be doing for you today is a what fits in my Polk backpack. Um, so what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing it in two ways. So the first way is what I usually pack with me to go to school and my school bag slash when I use this bag to maybe go home or if I'm going out during the day and I want to take this bag as my main bag, so... There we go, we have two different options. So, sorry if this video is long, but I want to give you as many options as you can. So, here is the bag itself. So, it is quite heavy right now because I have so much stuff in it. Oh, let me remove this little charmy thing. Um, actually, this is a charm that I actually got off of Etsy. So, it looks like one of the Fendi monsters, but it isn't. Like, I'm not going to sit here and pretend. It doesn't say Fendi anywhere, so it's not a knockoff, per se. It just looks kind of similar to it. It uses synthetic hair. So, that's why I bought it, because I'm not too big of a fan of, like, real fur or anything. Unless, I mean, there's really no humane way of harvesting it. I'm just in this little mood right now. We'll see. I definitely do love this little piece. Um, if you want, I can try and find the person I bought this from, or the seller off of Etsy down below, but I don't know. I don't really remember, so there's that. Just So just removing that. What I have on front of the bag is just the lock and the zipper, so um, starting off, so what I keep in the zipper. <clears throat> Up front, I will usually keep um, my eye clicker, so this is something that we use to take, like, surveys and classes. It's mostly for attendance. And then I would also keep my calculator. This is one of the calculators I would use. And then also, I would keep spare pencils if I'm too lazy to go actually into the bag and <laughs> open up my pencil pouch, I know. And then also this hairbrush. So this is another thing I got off of Etsy where they use authentic Louis Vuitton canvas and they make cool things. So this is, you'll kind of be able to see yourself, but a hairbrush and a mirror. So that always comes in handy. Alright, so now opening up the bag. Hopefully this is in frame. So opening it up, you open it up like that, and I'll kind of try and show you a shot. So there it is. That's what the inside looks like. And I think it'll just be easier if I put it down right here and um, just take everything out. So first and foremost is my computer. So this is my Toshiba. Um, one of my friends, because I was... <laughs> supposed to get him, well, actually not one of my friends, my mom, I told her I wanted a Mac, and <laughs> she got me this as a prank, well, not a prank, because I, it's a really good computer, it's actually gold, it doesn't show up, probably, and it's really dirty right now, I know, what ghetto person, but, <laughs> um, I just have one of those little Apple stickers just to tease the people, so, like, all the hipsters at my school, they, like, roll their eyes, it's really funny, so that's kind of my twist on things, um, then next is my pencil pouch. So this is, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it's a Gucci pencil pouch. Pouch. I bought this at the out, Gucci outlet here in Chicago, um, in Rosemont. And I bought this to match a Gucci backpack I used to have until, well, and if you watch some of my other videos, you know the story with that one. But in here I just keep all my pencils, pens, extra lead, erasers, um... Memory disks and not memory disks, but like flash drives and things like that. So that's why I keep it in there. Next would be my Louis Vuitton agenda. So this is my agenda. I have the Filofax inserts. I have some notes. It's kind of messy right now, but I need to go through and reorganize it. But the pages and what I have to have done are all organized. So there's that. Um, also down inside in the front pocket so if you see my review you would know that there's a front pocket up along the front of the bag a little slot that is where i keep my ipad mini so this is my ipad mini um and it fits perfectly inside of there so that it's a good use for it i should keep all this stuff up 
Okay, then next I have four notebooks. So these are for all four of my classes. I like these ones from Staples because, let me show you. I know this isn't a review on everything, it should just be my bag, but um, it has these nice inserts. So it has a nice folder right there, a slit, these um, file markers, a calendar, which I don't use, and then lots of lots of paper. So that is those. And then we're coming down to the end. So the last thing I have in here is my mini pochette that keeps all of my different things. So like <laughs> hair ties, hand cream, hand sanitizer, weird like mojo things, band-aids, gum, you name it, it's in here. So there's that. So that's what I keep in my school backpack. Um, then what I would usually use it for if I was going out. So, the things I would put in there is, usually for the most part, I always like to bring my agenda with me, no matter where I go, it is big, but all my bags are kind of big, so it fits in there, it's nice, so I always like to keep that just in case I go somewhere and I need to write down a date, um, at least I have my agenda with me, or if I need to check something, like a doctor's appointment. Next, I'll usually bring my iPad with me, not all the time, but sometimes, just in case. Um, okay, let me just bring this down again. Alright, next I would attach my mini pochette to the D-ring, which I did before. Um, so just throwing that in there. I know, this is not like the most glamorous thing, so throwing that in there. Um, next would probably be all right so most of these are just for show but um not for show but i always bring in this one i always keep gift cards um coupons sometimes and um yeah coupons and then store loyalty cards in my product case so i put that in there because that is always a necessity i never use it but whenever i don't have it I always go to Target and I have a million gar Target gift cards, so then I never have them. And here I keep all my, um, where are they called? All of my cards, like business cards for all my sales associates and other people in this Louis Vuitton one. I never really have a need for it, but just in case you need something so I just throw that in there next I would usually bring my sunglasses and eyeglasses so these are my Ray-Ban sunglasses they are the classic excuse my language fuckboy sunglasses so like this they're gold they're glamorous I feel like a fierce bitch hipster in these sorry for the language I know sorry um so I have those or I'll usually wear my Bur Burberry ones whichever ones um, I really do enjoy sunglasses, but I have such a fat head that none of them really fit me, so that's why I don't have a whole bunch of them. Um, next I always bring my Prada eyeglasses with me everywhere I go, and that's usually in my school bag too, sorry. And they look like these, they're really dirty right now, but they're these gorgeous blue ombre, um, glasses. And then they say Prada on the side, so those are the, or that's those. Alright, let's see, what else, what else? Um, next I would, alright, so this is where it kind of deciphers between winter and summer. So in the winter, I would always carry my wallet and then my key clay, or my six key ring holder, which holds um, my U-Pass, which is a pass that you can use any public transportation downtown, and then also my student ID that I need to get into my building and everything, and all my keys, and then my wallet, sorry, like I said, I would usually keep it in my pocket, my coat pocket in the winter, but in the summer, what I'll usually do is put this, usually because I... Sometimes I keep it in my pockets, but ever since I've been getting a lot of wear and tear on items or keeping them in my pockets, I always put this in my bag somewhere that I can always get easy access to, and then just bringing this back up. 
I would always put this in the front pocket just so I have easy access to it. I would bring my hairbrush with me. Um, and then also I would bring my pen case usually with me. Um, that is before I found a pen that actually fits my agenda, but nonetheless. Um, also, I would bring a bottle of water. I, this one's almost empty. I've been drinking it, but instead of going down and reaching to get another one, I just figured I would use that. So, fitting that into the side. And this bag holds so much, and it's a north-south bag, more or less, and so usually I put the least important things on the bottom and then build up, so, um, I would also probably bring my Burberry case for extra chargers and everything, that's where I keep that, um, but if I don't want to be bulky, um, this is one of the chargers I have, and also I keep an extra wire, like the one that plugs into your phone and my mini pochette. I would just probably throw that, depending, yeah, right in the front pocket so I have easy access to that. I like to put easy access things in the front just so, and least important things so if someone decides to rob me, well not rob me, but pickpocket, they can do that. Um, other than that, that's about all I would bring with me. I know that's an awful lot, and this bag isn't that heavy with carrying all that stuff. And generally, this bag can get kind of heavy, but once you have it on your back, you don't feel it at all. It's like air. You, you literally don't feel anything. You can barely pick it up and then have nothing. So, that is what I would normally bring with me. So, that is what's in my Polk backpack. So, I hope that helped. I hope you were able to see everything right. I would tilt it over and show you, but... There's no sense in doing that. Um, you wouldn't be able to see, but as you can see, it really does hold quite a bit of things. So, with that being said, I hope you all have an excellent day. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it helped whoever watched. So, thank you so much for watching, and have a